Hello there, my beautiful Taurus friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. Now, Taurus, Spirit has something very important to share with you today. In my morning meditation, I was called to pull all of these decks for you, and this is where the messages are going to come through. I especially picked the Spirit Warrior deck called Elki, and I feel that there's this Spirit Warrior energy in the air right now for all of us. So what I'm going to do for you today is open your reading with a spirit animal card then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you followed by a bonus card from the Alki Oracle deck and then close off with an angel number so those of you that are watching today if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers this is all going to give you your confirmation and guidance today so stay tuned for all of this my beautiful friends all right Taurus let's call in spirit and open up your reading see what it is that you need to know today. So we are getting for you koala. Have any of you seen a koala bear? This is a confirmation for you. If you haven't, you're seeing one now on your screen. So the message here is let your heart remain rooted in stillness and inner peace. The solution is in progress. So once again, let your heart remain rooted in stillness and inner peace. The solution is in progress. So this is where you release any kind of doubts, any kind of, okay, when is this going to resolve itself, timing, you're putting assumptions or any kind of strings that you're attaching to what it is that you want to come forth here. Let all of that go and come to a place of stillness and quiet. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull some tarot cards and see what else is coming through. We are getting for you hermit, calm and still, peace. The hermit card, it's the hermit mode. Sometimes we have to pull ourselves away from a situation in order to see clarity. Sometimes we're too thick in a situation where we're not able to see clearly, right? So this is where sometimes we have to retreat, go into a place of solitude, take some time to think before we come out with an answer and allow yourself time for that answer to come in. Uh, Taurus. So the Hermit card. Now, this is a major arcana card, so this energy is going to be prominent. However, it's in the background. So some of you are going to feel this energy intensely, while others, you're going to feel this subtly. So the Hermit card, and we have the Two of Pentacles. You are elevating. You are moving up in frequency and vibration. You are climbing a mountain. And when we are elevated, Things shake a little bit. They feel a bit more tougher. Some of you are experiencing this. No, it's because you are growing. Okay, you're moving up to that next level. So the two of pentacles here. And we have the six of swords. You're coming to a place of peace and calm. This seems to be the theme for you today, Taurus. So it's all about cultivating that inner tranquility, peace, stillness, right? That all starts with our mind. It's like the things that are going on in our head. Sure, they're going on in our head, but let's put it aside for a moment and not let's, let's not give it energy anymore. And I feel like you're coming to this point in your life right now because of something that's been going on. So the Six of Swords here. Now, I want you to use your own intuition with my reading. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Now, this will strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. So the Six of Swords, everyone. So we are getting the number nine, two, and six coming in. So if you're seeing these numbers anywhere in your life, this is coming in as a confirmation of this reading for you today. And also the numbers nine, two, six, like nine, 26 in that sequence anywhere is also a confirmation. So before I begin here, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you today, Taurus. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind, but also check out your moon rising and Venus signs. So, wow, we've got some 
intense energies. We've got like this really calm and energy that has stopped for a moment. It's almost like you're taking a rest before you move, move on because we've got an uphill climb in your energy here. This is spiritual growth for you, Taurus. Some of you have been working on your spiritual growth. You're definitely going to see the results of it, okay? So um, cultivate peace in your life. We've got an alignment that is happening here as well. So taking time to think things through, taking time to understand yourself through whatever it is that you're experiencing. I feel this is a part of our journey is, you know, the experiences that we go through, whether they are tough, whether they are mediocre or really good, there's something that we're learning from these experiences. There's something that um, a spirit is trying to share with us, give us wisdom around um, for our future, around what it is that we're going through. So some of you might be going through this period in your life right now where things are a bit more quiet, a little bit more slowed down, or you're feeling like you just don't want to be around people, you don't want to do many things, you're kind of just down and out. Um, when we find ourselves in a place of loneliness or solitude, that's an opportunity for us to actually get to know ourselves better. And I feel that if you are finding yourselves in a period of life where you're finding yourself alone, where you're finding that maybe things have slowed down a little bit, and um, I don't know how you're feeling about this, um, Taurus. Some of us are excited about our quiet time. Others, uh, some of us are not happy with that, right? It depends on what our moods are and what we've gone through and what this lonely time is. Ultimately, whether you're feeling good or bad, this is a time for you to really get to know yourself, to really get to know yourself here, Taurus, because once you do, everything is going to become clear here. And you begin to start, uh, begin to align with your higher self here. You're very connected. Sometimes we feel like we're not connected because we are in this lonely space. And spirit is kind of like, trying to get you to push that energy away from you. This feeling of being sad and lonely because of everything. And you know, our experiences are true to us. So the emotions that you're feeling are true to you, Taurus. And it's not that you're meant to suppress these emotions, you're meant to actually work on them. So what's happening here is spirit is calling you to ask for support or assistance or find some sort of help or way of channeling this energy that you're feeling that feels really down and out, right? To find ways to uplift yourself. How can you do that? What makes you feel good? So this is you now getting to know yourself and learning to implement things in your life that actually make you feel good, doing things now by yourself maybe, and not having to rely on others and you can enjoy your life the way that you want. You can choose to go hang out with people if you want. Like this is a really cool place to be for some of us, right? So some of you, you are living in this energy and what's happening here is as you are getting to know yourself, you're now, everything's working in the background here to align you with all the resources and things that you need in order to, order to elevate to this new level. And this new level that's coming in for you has different people, it has different experiences, ones that you have never experienced before. So this quiet space is you in the in-between of that transition of you moving from one energy to another energy, right? So this could come in as a job change. This could be you being promoted and you're moving from one to the next. There's different things that are gonna happen here. Some of you might be coming out of a relationship. Some of you might be going into a relationship that might be different than the old one where it's a new level of energy. So there's almost this new experience, this new learning. It's open. It's, it's an opportunity for you to really move through it a bit more uh, prepared, a bit more knowing yourself and what you're going to tolerate and what you're not going to tolerate because you have some good healthy boundaries up. All of this, and it's, it's, it's a time for you to really understand your core beliefs and your values, like who you truly are, what you stand for, and the things that you don't wanna surround yourself with. So a very powerful time for some of you to um, take the opportunity to, to, to spend time alone and get to know yourself. Take breathers, take time to rest, right? This doesn't mean that you have to go into this hermit mode. It could mean like taking a five minute break when you're feeling overwhelmed, right? To go back to, into that inner center, learning to go to that inner center, developing that, strengthening it. So it becomes a habit. So when you are feeling overwhelmed, you go back to that place and you gain clarity. 
So a lot that is coming in through the Hermit card here for some of you. And we have the Two of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. So some of you are looking for abundance. Some of you are looking for happiness. Whatever it is that you're desiring, whatever it is that you're wanting to experience in your life, you're working your way towards it. I'm seeing some of you putting a lot of your energy out there, like working really hard to climb the ladder, whether this is in your career, whether this is financially, right? Uh, finding ways to make things work. And some of you have been doing this for a very long time. Some of you feel like it's a long way to reach that mountain. Some of you are looking back and like, oh my gosh, how did I even get this far? I got to keep going. I don't even know where I'm going. Like all of these different things that come up when you're climbing a mountain, especially if you're climbing a mountain and you're not prepared, right? So I feel spirit is calling you to prepare yourselves for this journey, this up climb ahead. This is going to be a really amazing experience for you, Taurus, and you are enlightened, you are powered up. I feel you have inspiration. Some of you are motivated. Maybe there's something new that came into your life that you're in alignment with and you're seeing yourself moving ahead with it. I'm seeing that there are resources available to you. It's all about you know, those of you that are feeling like you don't have any resources, you have no way of figuring things out. Spirit is showing you that you do, in fact, have ways and you are going to figure things out because you are very smart. You are someone that has a lot of power and strength to climb to the top of this mountain. I feel you've just forgotten. So there's a reminder coming in of that for you, Taurus. And there's this new level of energy that you're going to reach that is going to feel so much more peaceful. And there's so much that you're going to learn in this up climb as you're moving to this more tranquil space. There's no drama here. I do feel some of your shedding energies as you're climbing up. You're dropping a little bit of weight as you're moving um, with friendships, habits, uh, things that you used to eat. I'm seeing you coming into a more um, lighter energy up here in this mountain. So it's a little bit harder to maybe um, get adjusted to the atmosphere here so give yourself adjustment time as you're moving into this new level you know when we uh, start a new job there's a probation period of three months so it gives the uh, company an opportunity to get to know you to see if you're the right fit vice versa you get to learn about the company and see if you want to stay there and you go through a lot of stuff within that three months. And I feel you need to give yourself a good three months or an adjustment period, which is usually three to six months in length in order to get used to this new level, these new energies. I feel your rhythm and flow in life is changing. And right now, because it's changing, it might feel a little bit turbulent as you're moving through this change to this new level. Allow yourself to actually experience what it is that you're going through, right? Whenever I have something come in, um, sometimes I have uh, situations that break out uh, or something that happens and I'm like, oh my gosh, this thing is happening in my life right now. And it's like, okay, well, I don't know. I don't know if I can, con I can't control it, obviously. So I'm just going to see what happens. I'm like, Deki Jaugi, let's go through it and see what happens. So in Punjabi, Deki Jaugi means we'll see what happens. So it's my motto in life. I've mentioned this on my channel many times, but I'm like, okay, let's see where this thing is going to take us. What is it that I'm feeling? I went through a really big moment about two years ago with my daughter and now everything is peaceful, right? But it was that up climb and we're, we're in a really better place right now. So some of you might be going through disturbances in your relationships. Perhaps there is some sort of a change that is coming in where the, a relationship or an experience in your life is changing. Maybe it's changing for the better or maybe it's changing in a way where it's going to dissolve out of your life. So I do feel there's a lot of things that you're going to experience in this up climb as you're moving to this new level in your life, Taurus. And um, look around. Don't just sit in one spot. Spirit is saying, think outside the box. Um, get a second opinion. You just never know. Like, look around yourself for ways to make things work here. You're very smart and you're very resourceful. They want you to use that energy right now, right? And sometimes that energy is in stillness, right? Sometimes you have to just get away from it all for a second just to clear your mind in order to gain clarity, and that can help you to move up. And you know what? Stillness is everything. I just feel in stillness when we can calm the chaos. We live in a world of chaos. It's crazy sometimes. All the energies that we deal with. 
but we have a choice. We have the power to tune all of that out. So spirit is wanting you to practice tuning the noise out and really connecting with spirit because they're taking you on this beautiful flow, this ride where there is no chaos. There's just peace. It's tranquil. It's calming, right? There is no this and that or the other thing in your mind about anyone or anything, right? It's little bits of tedious things, annoyances that sometimes we put our energy towards, things that kind of whirl around in our minds. This is the energy that we want to calm. And what Spirit is showing me right now is a bottle with water and dirt. And when you shake it, the, the chaos of the dirt is all over the water. But if you give it time and keep things still, everything kind of floats back down to the ground and everything's in stillness. So they want you to create this within yourself here. Taurus at this time around whatever you're moving through but no this is actually bringing you to a higher level of um, consciousness a higher level of awareness but also this um, beautiful uh, energy that you get to experience this life experience here in this beautiful flow this beautiful stream of light I feel this is a lot of light energy coming in and you're going to see reflections through this river. As the sun beams down, you'll see little bits and reflections of things. This is foresight, uh, understanding, knowing, connection, right? This is what's happening for some of you. So many of you are on a very big spiritual journey, uh, an ascension, right? There's an elevation happening in your growth. And what I'm getting here is there's a lot of things that you're putting aside now putting away that are being put to rest and you've held on to it for very long, uh, for a very, very long time. And you're finally like, okay, I'm going to let this go now. I'm done. I'm tired. And I'm just going to let that go. And I'm going to allow myself to move upstream here without any kind of resistance. So peace is coming in for you. You're creating this. And through peace comes abundance, comes love, comes deep bonds and connections with people. I feel you're opening yourself up. And there's this beautiful blessings that are coming into your life. Something that you've been wanting to experience. Some of you who didn't even realize you can actually experience something like this in your life. And you're now experiencing it and you're like, oh my gosh, I never had, would have ever in my wildest dreams thought I can come to a place that I can actually experience this. This is where you're headed right now. So this is what Spirit is wanting you to know in this reading at this time. So as you are stumbling upon this reading, and if you've made it this far, know that you are truly blessed at this time. There's a lot of guidance in your life. Follow the signs here, everyone. Those of you that are already seeing angel numbers, you're seeing lots of signs, animals, you're already in connection with spirit, right? And when you're in connection, when we see something um, out of the blue or we hear something, someone saying something, it's the awareness of understanding, okay, that message has come in because now it's resonating with something that I've asked for. So what I feel is some of you have asked for something and the information is being relayed to you and you're aware and you're taking the information in and um, moving towards it, right? So this is what's happening here for you. So very powerful stuff. It, it really is. So what I'm going to do now is pull a bonus card from the L Key Oracle deck. I'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook today. So let's see what it is that Spirit wants to share with you. Taurus, we are getting here Manara, she who waits, patience, waiting, and determination. So Manara, this name might be resonating for some of you. Perhaps you know someone by the name of Manara. Okay, so she's got a beautiful butterfly and... Um, yeah, it's a really beautiful picture. Some of you might be resonating with this image on the card. Perhaps you're seeing butterflies because that's coming in as a sign right now. All right, so the message for you today is Manara, she who waits, sits in a bower of leaves and flowers. So long did she pause there, the very flora has made it home in her hair. Because she knew the value of waiting, the ethereal glowing butterfly finally came to her. She made room for her dream by letting go of all else. What you want, you too can have. However, Manara will not give you the winged gift. The gift she offers is the lesson of patience. Her choice is before you now. Can you commit to the time it may take to get what you so want?
Taurus. The message of this card is you may face challenges in going after the thing you want above all others. If it were easy, the actual obtainment would be diminished. Honor the path set in front of you. Be ready to stretch yourself because chasing this elusive desire will not be a walk in the park. More like a hike through exacting and arduous forest trails. This is not a test of physical ability, but about your level of determination. You can always say no, but keep in mind that you may not get this particular chance again. Stop and evaluate your commitment to your desire. So powerful message here with Manara for you. So let's go ahead and pull an angel number. Some of you are seeing angel numbers, repeating numbers in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So we are getting for you, Taurus, sacred match. Look at this. So there's a sacred match coming up, something in alignment that is coming into your life, 222. If you're seeing these numbers in this sequence, this is a confirmation of this message for you. You are vibrating in harmony right now, Taurus. There's a collaboration that is going to happen. Maybe it's already happening. Spirit is wanting you to keep going right now. Balance all areas of your life. Start planting seeds, everyone. You're going to experience a union, okay? Start planting seeds. Hey everyone, I just wanted to mention that we have a new collection of Magic Intention candles. These are Golden Luster. They're made by my sister-in-law Katomi. There is a limited supply of these, everyone. They are available right now. These are perfect for Christmas or a birthday gift, or even for yourself to set intentions during the full moon or anytime that you want. Grab these while they're still available. I've got links to these in the description box below. So this is your message. This is your reading. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.